Shalini here from Tech Gatha and this video covers about variable rules. If you remember, we have already discussed that any programming language is case sensitive. Yes, when you create variables, it is case sensitive indeed. Next, variables can be of unlimited length. The only rule to is they can start with characters, dollar or underscore. It cannot start with any number or any other special symbols. It cannot consist of white space and it cannot contain any other symbols except dollar and underscore. You can have variables that can contain numbers, they can contain characters and they can contain dollar and only underscore. At the same time, make sure that your variables are not reserved words. Now with this, I am giving you a assignment wherein you can take a pause over here. There are list of variables over here. Take a pen and note down which are valid and which are invalid variables if you understood the variable naming rules. If not, please go back into the video a bit, listen again about the variable rules and then solve this. Once you solve it, the next comes in the solution specifying the valid and the invalid values and the reason behind why a variable is invalid. Does it matches with your output? If yes, give 100 marks to yourself. Great. Next, we also learned about data types. So now is the time where we combine the data types and the variables. So we have to declare a variable that can store a value of a specific type. Now if it is a byte, you say byte followed by a variable name. Again following the variable rules we had discussed, please do not forget that. And then you store a value. Bytes are ranged from minus 128 to plus 127 only. Then again in a sequence we have characters. For characters make sure you enclose in single quotes. We have short, we have int, we have long, then we have float. Now when you declare floating point variables make sure that you end that value with the f telling the JVM that this is a floating point value. Then for declaring a double variable, again you create double and store a decimal number and for boolean values, you can declare a boolean variable and you can store only two values, true or false. This is all about how do you declare variables in Java of different types. At the same time, beware, right? So the next slide just shows you about the list of the keywords or the reserved words available in Java. This is all about variable rules. Thanks everyone for watching this video. Happy learning, take care and bye-bye.